Hey guys, it's Liz of Consumed by Books, and I have two weeks worth of In My Mailbox to show you. I did rearrange my bookshelf, so you can admire that. Also, my dog Macy is sitting right next to me, so if you see a paw or a snout coming into the video, that's why. I received one book for review this week, and that is Cut by Patricia McCormick. This is the 10th anniversary edition, and it has some extra materials in it, which I will talk about when I review it. Tomorrow I will be having a giveaway for two copies of this up on the blog, so be sure and stop by and check that out. I did some trades this week. Sherry of Flipping Pages for All Ages sent me a copy of Hourglass by Myra McIntyre. I hope I said that right. I actually already pre-ordered this book, but I've heard such great things about it that I want to try and read it before it comes out if I can. So yeah, thank you very much Sherry for sending this. And Jordan of Tencent Notes sent a copy of Dreamland Social Club, which is by Tara Altabrando, I believe is how it's pronounced. Haven't heard too much about this one, but it looks like kind of a summary read, so I'll let you know how that is. And I did end my book buying van early, and I actually bought several books. I got rid of some of my own books, took them to Half Price Books, so this next little bit is from there. I got a copy of The End, which is by Lemony Snicket. I'm trying to collect the whole series of unfortunate events books in hardcover and this is the last book the 13th and I think this is the fourth book that I own in the whole series so I still have quite a ways to go but it's nice to have that I bought Impossible which is by Nancy Worlin I don't know too much about this and haven't read anything by this author but I do have an ARC of Extraordinary as well somewhere so if you've read both of these let me know which one I should start with I got Fever, 1793 by Lori Hulse Anderson. This is a historical fiction, and I believe now I own most of Lori's books. She's a great author. Looking forward to that one. I got a copy of Perchance to Dream, which is by Lisa Manchev. This is the first book in the... No, it's the... Um, actually, I don't know whether it's the first or the second book in the Theater Illuminatra series. I believe that it's the second. Um, the first being Eyes Like Stars, but I've heard a lot of great things about this series, so when I saw a copy of this, I had to go for it. I got a copy of Emma's for Magic, which is by Neil Gaiman. I love Neil Gaiman, so I was really glad to find a hardcover of one of his books, and in pretty good condition. And that's the last of my half price books haul. I got the UK cover of Linger, which is by Maggie Stiefvater. I still need to read this one, and I will do that before she comes on tour near me in July. Hopefully get both of my UK editions signed. Break, which is by Hannah Moskowitz. I was recently on the blog tour for her second book, Invincible Summer. And I liked it, but it wasn't entirely my thing, and this sounds like something that I'll enjoy a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. The Happiness Project by Gretchen Rubin. This is more of an adult nonfiction book, and I don't know tons about it, but it's always good to find ways to make oneself happier, so I'm going to give it a roll. Next up, and this is a very pretty one, Moonglass, which is by Jesse Kirby. I love the sheen, the nice pearly sheen on this cover. It's so pretty. And it's blurbed by Sarah Dessen, who's great, so it has to be good. Speaking of Sarah Dessen, I did get one other book at Half Price Books. I got Someone Like You, which once I put it in there, I wasn't going to get it back out. But I did buy that at Half Price Books as well. Next up, Babe in Boyland, which is by Jody German or German. I am not sure how she pronounces it. And this is about a girl who wants to know about what guys are thinking, so... She goes undercover for a week at a guy's school. And also, this is very cool. The book itself is bright green. How awesome is that? It's such a happy color. A little blinding, but happy. And the last book I got this week is a copy of The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. Very much a mouthful of a title by Catherine M. Valent. I knew I wanted to get a copy of this one as soon as I saw the book trailer because it's a very spectacular trailer. And also, this book has been getting tons of rave reviews and just sounds like a very quirky, awesome middle grade read, so I am really looking forward to checking this one out. 
that is everything that I got in ma my mailbox this week. And I want to know about what you guys got. So let me know and happy reading. Bye.